couple days ago, as I checked the weather forecast, it said that today is going to be a fine sunny day, and this morning it's looking just like that. And so yesterday evening I was already thinking, why not go out just in my neighborhood and explore the neighborhood a little, because I'm actually quite new to this place, I've only moved here a couple months ago, and so I haven't really explored this area yet. And therefore, today we have the Olympus XA3, a beautiful, tiny little cute point and shoot. Look at how small it is. <laughs> And uh, I'll talk more about this camera later, it's my mum's old point and shoot. And inside I've got a roll of Kodak Color Plus, which is a film new to me, it's my first time shooting this. I don't really know what the characteristics are apart from that it's color film, but generally in the light we've got today I think it's going to be a very cute session of film photography in the neighborhood. Let's go. So I began this session with a photograph of this river here. I liked the colourful scene with the trees and the yellow building. This is the shot I got and I'm liking this start. The composition is simple yet effective and the photo has a really good vibe I find with the sunlight coming in. I continued my walk and came to this road where I found that black car parked there. I thought the black car could work nicely as a subject for a photo of this place here. This is what I got and I think it works beautifully. I love that the light in the scene separates the composition and the car is positioned just in the bright part. Then, a little further down the road, I came across this house that had a camping trailer parked in the garden which looked pretty cool, so I wanted to get a shot of it. This is the result, and I'm loving this photo. So far, I'm overly happy with the colors I've been able to get from this roll of Kodak Color Plus. This photo turned out great with its rich colors and perfect exposure. I continued my walk and later came to this field, which I decided to get a shot of. This one came out okay, I don't know why, but this photo has a quite strong vignette going on. I think this might come from not exposing the film enough, which I sadly can't control since I'm shooting with a point and shoot in this video. I walked on along this road across the field and found these three trees beside the road, which I thought could make a decent photograph together with the road. This is the result and I think it turned out nicely. You can see here again, the photo has a vignette in the corners, however in this composition I don't think it's as disturbing as in the previous one. Then I shot a photo of the same trees again, but this time closer. I like this one too, the photo feels calm and peaceful. Then, I continued my walk and came across these electrical boxes, which I thought could work as a subject. Here's my attempt, and I think it actually works pretty well. I'm also enjoying this simple composition. I don't know. Should I shoot it? I'm just shooting it because of the colors. The orange field and the green grass. Now you know what, let's do it. So yeah, I shot it and this is the result. The color contrast is quite remarkable here, however in total the photo isn't really much of an amazing photo, the composition seems quite aimless. Oh I think it's time for the classic subject. Oh yes, the classic favorite. <laughs> You heard it, the classic favorite, and so I got this photo of the power pole with the blue sky in the back. The photo is as minimalistic as it can get, and I like it. This house is so cute. But not really photogenic. Then, as I walked past the house, I did find that this area here looked quite photogenic, and so I decided to take this photograph. The outcome is pretty decent, however, nothing special, I would say. Then I continued down that road and came here. Whoa. I 
I almost have to get two shots of this, it's so beautiful. Uh, I don't really know how. So I was in complete awe of that beautiful tree and its vibrant colour. This is the photograph and I like it a lot, however I do have to mention that I'm not entirely satisfied with the colours because it's just not quite how it was in real life, but I guess that's a lot to ask for. Hmm, <laughs> well, how about this one here, this is a cute pole. I think I'll say it in the shot. Absolutely cute these houses. So I came into this cute neighborhood with these beautiful houses, however it's the kind of beauty that can hardly be captured in a photograph, so I didn't get any photos for now. But as I passed this garage here, I did see a certain photogenic potential, so I got this shot, which I think turned out pretty nicely. I enjoy the symmetrical elements. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> Gotta shoot this. So I was quite intrigued by that small path that leads to the houses and therefore I had to capture it. The results look great in my opinion and the beauty I saw here is one that translates into photography. I can still feel the place and relate to my excitement when seeing this little path. Hmm. Is this too red? I'm not sure. So yeah, it is a bit random, but I still like it. Random isn't necessarily bad, is it? Then, to the right is a small lake or pond within this park area. Because it was still fairly early, the park was empty, which gave it this photogenic aesthetic, I find, and so I got this shot. This photo feels peaceful. I like it. Then, just a little further, still next to the park, I found this gate on the opposite side of the road. I don't exactly remember why I shot this photo, and now looking at it, I don't really think it's anything special. Then I continued to walk down this road, and not far behind the park, I found this light blue building. It caught my eye with its soft blue colour of the walls and that bicycle parked in front of the entrance. This is the photo I got and I'm really happy with this one. I don't know if you're going to relate to the following but this photo really gives me Ghibli vibes. As if this were a photographic still frame from a Ghibli film. The colours and especially that bicycle somehow evoke this reminiscent feeling of a Ghibli film. After that I came to this parking area that belongs to the park and the lake we had passed. That car back there has potential. It's a bit random in the bushes. I love this photo. I can't precisely tell you what it is, but I'm guessing it's the sum of the colours, the morning light, and the composition having this car as the point of interest. All of this is packed in a totally simple photo, actually. Then, as I came to this lake and saw that a walking trail goes around the whole lake, I decided to walk around it. Before even properly entering the path, I stopped, however, to take a photo of the cute path. Then, on my walk around the lake, I found these two trees here, which I thought could work well as a frame for the lake and the trees on the other side. I think it works. I like how the photo is now separated in layers. So the little story about how I got this camera is that uh, I was telling my mom about how fascinating it is that somebody like me who grew up in the digital age is now so interested in film photography because I saw it's not only me, a couple of friends of mine and just overall in the internet, you find a lot of young people being really interested in film photography. And so I was telling her about it and also mentioned that I was taking my dad's old Pentax K1000 now and shooting some film with that. And then a couple days later, she came to me with a shoe box and gave it to me and said, check it out. And inside were three analog point and shoots, one of which was this Olympus. The other one was a Minolta and then there was one Fujifilm point and shoot. That one sadly didn't work anymore. The shutter doesn't release. What I think is so cool about shooting with these cameras is just the fact that my mum shot photos of me as a baby 
with those cameras and now 20 years later I'm using them just to shoot random stuff here I don't know I, I just think that is so fascinating um, so yeah I just enjoy shooting with these cameras which have a certain history to it you could say and so yeah that's why I just wanted to share that story with you and I'd say let's continue and see what else we can get this morning These houses again are so cute. <gasps> Here is the cute goose family. I enjoyed the photo very much, except that I messed up the horizon, which I didn't correct when scanning. I just wanted to show you the full frame. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> that was the last photo from my walk around the lake and I continued until I eventually came to this road which as I understand it is part of a small cluster of allotment gardens with small huts. This road here is one that goes around the whole cluster and leads to many entrance gates. I got this simple straight photo of the road because I thought it looked pretty cute. And then I walked up to one of these entrance gates and decided to hold up the camera above the gate to get a photo of the really cute place. I like the outcome, it neatly captures the cuteness I enjoy in this place. This photo turned out okay. I think I prefer it over the first photo I got of this road because this one has the pink tree in it. Okay, so pink. here I tried another one of these over the gate photos. I couldn't really see through the viewfinder properly, which is why I shot the second one, simply out of uncertainty. However, I actually find both worked out fine. After that, the GoPro's battery sadly died, but luckily I had brought the Sony with me, so I always set it up on a tripod for the next few photos. Here, I was aiming to get this sort of cliché spring photo of the flowers. This turned out quite nicely. Next, I was walking through another neighbourhood and decided to shoot a simple down-the-road photograph to capture the overall aesthetic and vibe of this place. The photo worked out pretty nicely, and I think it captures the vibe well. Next, I found this beautiful orange house. I love the colours of the wall with the green plants in the window, which are pictured beautifully in the photograph. Next, I wanted to get another one of those road shots, and this one also turned out nicely. Then, I found this white and quite old looking garage, and decided to try another rather symmetrical composition. This is what I got, and I like it, although it doesn't really shine in any particular way. I couldn't trigger the shot. I think that was the last one. It, it won't wind further and it won't shoot, so I guess that's it. So yeah, that was that, my first roll of Kodak Color Plus. I'm overall very satisfied with the results I was able to get and will definitely buy another roll of Color Plus in the future. Choosing just one favorite from the day is absolutely not possible for this shoot. Here are a few photos which I personally count to my favorites of the day, mostly due to the colors and the happy and almost romantic vibe overall. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. I look forward to reading your thoughts. Anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, leave a like. I would very much appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I'll hopefully see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.